Hello! Hi, Rocco. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Hello, it's me, Rocco Caprupe, the best clown for the worst parties. And today, we are going to be playing a certain type of alien game. We will see how it is. I'm excited. Also, Tia, thank you very much for the gifted sub to Hey, I really appreciate that. Thank you very, very, very much for your generosity. It's very kind of you. Hi, Dishian. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome, in everyone. I hope you had a good weekend so far. I know it hasn't been that long since we last spoke, uh, but we're about to have a pretty uh, interesting stream, I think. Uh, we're going to be playing this horror game uh, called Voices of the Void today. Uh, it's a free game at the moment, basically, um, but if you don't know anything about it, um, very interesting game about aliens, uh, cat girl aliens to my understanding, which puts that game immediately as a 10 out of 10 for me, you know, aliens are great enough, but like cat girl aliens, I mean, come on man, come on. Gloop! Gloop! People who missed it in chat? People don't follow Gloop. Firstly, follow Gloop. Actually, hold on. I did, right, hold on. Let me, let me just. Uh, let me. Let me just do something real quick. One second. Oh yeah. Uh, Gloop is a very, very talented fellow VTuber pal of mine. Uh, she brought me. She brought me. There was a cutout of me, at TwitchCon. And Gloop brought me. Take from that what you will. Take from that what you will. But Gloop brought me, which means, therefore, there will be forever cherished in my heart. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I'm going to invite you to be best woman at my wedding. <laughs> of my model. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It was, um, so there was a 2D cutout of myself at, um, at TwitchCon. That's not it. Hold on. Let me, I, I don't think I have a picture of Gloop holding it. Um, but there was a cutout of me at TwitchCon. I don't have it. Basically, I didn't meet me at TwitchCon. This is how it looked. Uh, and my model was available for purchase. I think the the money went to either a charity or back into Araculture, because Araculture are the people who very kindly made the booth. Um, but yeah, basically, you could buy my model. It was life size at five foot eight, which means I was extremely tall. Extremely tall. Beating the short allegations, finally. Even though people say I'm short, I'm not. I'm five foot eight. Give me a break. Gloop. Five foot eight, right? Please don't lie. Please don't lie. Can confirm. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God I am beating the short allegations finally. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Five for eight, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. A paid actor. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I hate since hitting run music. You are right. Homer's day is a mood of the day because it has been. 
I'll spare you guys the gory DLs because it's not my story to tell and all that jazz. Uh, but it's been a hell of a day. Uh, with pals and family and a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it, okay? I'm totally fine. Uh, but I want people I love to be happy. And it's been a very stressful day for that. So I'm looking forward to playing uh, some silly games today. So if you don't know, today we're going to be playing Voices of the Void. It is a free-to-play horror game, I think. It's a free-to-play game where basically you're trying to find out signals for aliens. Um, it should be interesting. It should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Also, hi, Hoku Gamas. If you guys are following, welcome in, welcome in. Also, hello. Hello, Yomi. Hello. Hello. Are you doing well? Welcome in, welcome in. Um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, a, I hope it's a fun time. I don't know a lot about this game, other than the fact I watched Joel play it. Uh, and we have this game scheduled for the rest of the week. Have you got videos ready for television item? No, I don't, Bath. Um, but I know that's a thing because Ezra was like, you need to get videos ready for the television item. Um, I didn't because I went into the files of the game and promptly got very overwhelmed. <laughs> and no worries, cool, I'll see you later. Yeah, I went to the files of this game and got very overwhelmed. Um, I need to basically do my research about how to add uh, video files to this game and stuff like that. And also I've been scolded by Ezra in regards to the fact that apparently you little scrimblows are gonna be very likely to try and make me spend, as Yomi said, two hours on the tutorial. No, I will not be jumping on that platform to trigger the jump scare. I will not be doing that. I know about that. You cannot trick me into doing that. That is my first and only warning. <laughs> yeah, all I know about is that the cat girl aliens are very cute and fun. Uh, and, I, and, I'm, I'm a, and I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it all. She doesn't know. Oh, I did go through the settings. Um, I enabled... I don't know what this is going to change, but there was an option in the settings for funny content. And... As a big funny content enjoyer, I had to enable it. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Funny content. So I know for exact reasoning it enables Maxwell the, the, the cat but I don't know what else it enables we will find out together mm -hmm. also hi Swan how are you doing oh also I've got to tell you guys yesterday as you guys may remember I finished up stream early because I was going to go see a film uh the film I went to go see was called The Substance and it was it was a film if anyone wants a really quick TLDR summary, let me know because I need to tell some people in chat to mute an experience. I've never gone to a film where I felt like a guy walked out of the theater, like he was like a 50 year old guy and we made eye contact and he was just like, <laughs> so, you're gonna throw up. It was the closest I've ever felt watching a film where I was gonna be sick. So the, the main premise, I'm not gonna spoil it. This is the main premise for the film, is it's about a washed up actress. And she's not washed up, but she's 50 years old. You know, the industry is aging out of her. She gets fired from her company and then she gets an advertisement for an illicit uh, substance uh, called The Substance. <laughs> Um, that basically forms uh, another version of her, a quote-unquote better version of her, like a 30-year-old VTuber. Maybe. If I had to describe this film in VTuber terms... It's like... Oh, here we go. Get ready, clipping, clipping people, get ready. I'm going to describe the film The Substance, substance in VTuber terms. This film is about a person who is like 28 to 30 years old who decides, hey, I'm gonna become a VTuber, presenting this like younger avatar of me that will never age. And then that avatar personality absolutely pops the fuck off. They get really famous for that personality and they're like, hey, wait, I don't want to be the original version of me anymore. 
I don't want to be the original aging version of me anymore. I'm just going to be this VTuber person, like, constantly. Uh, so you don't ever change back to being the original version of themselves. You don't go outside, they don't do anything. And the original version of themselves gets really grickety and grokty and gross because they're not exercising, they're not moving their body uh, or anything like that. For three months. Let's just say three months hypothetically. That's definitely not what happens in the film. And then after three months, she can't keep being the VTuber anymore because the VTuber has run out of... Or the original person has run out of juice to let her be a VTuber. So she calls up the company and is like, hey, why can't I be the VTuber anymore? And they're like, you have to keep changing every seven days to replenish the energy system. So she changes back from being a VTuber to a human. But now the human is fucked up in every way, shape or form because all the life force that the VTuber used was taken from the human. The real person who is now a crotchy, back, back bendy, crunchy old woman. Uh, spoiler alert, mute if you want to see the substance. I'm talking about in VTuber terms, but mute for the next 30 seconds if you want to see the substance, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. So her realizing that um, she can't become the normal version of herself again, she's like, hey, why don't I make the VTuber, why don't I duplicate the VTuber version of me to make my myself an even better version? So she tries to duplicate the VTuber version of herself, who is also a duplication of the original version of her, and ends up making the most fucked up abomination I have ever seen in any film ever. Imagine, imagine the thing, but worse in every way, shape, and form. Uh, that's what she becomes. She goes on a stage, tries to perform, someone goes, ew, monster, and then uh, cuts her head off, which regrows back, and then she melts into a meat mass. It was great. Highly recommend. Wood? Wait, wait, who is saying wood? Therapy! Therapy! No! Not therapy! Shooting! <laughs> but yeah, basically it ends with them turning into a Blood Bowl monster. Yeah, the graduations basically. I really do recommend though, if you don't mind a good body horror film, uh, The Substance was definitely the most memorable film I've ever seen. Do you have any pictures? I do have pictures of what the person becomes. But because it wasn't used in any advertising material, I don't think I'm legally allowed to show it. So I can't... And that's that's not me, like, taking pictures in the film. I'm not that kind of person. But they are available on Twitter. If you go through... The, if you're so curious, go through the hashtag the substance thing on Twitter and you will find the pictures you are looking for. But I'm not going to share them here. Also! This is the only time I'm going to be in that safe walking stream. So many boobs. Someone... Ejects a boob from an orifice on their body. I thought it was their mouth. Ezra pointed out it was not their mouth. I don't know where it was, but there are boobs and there are butts in the film. A singular boob in the movie. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a film that I think a lot of people will be very interested to watch video essays about. <laughs> it's the first film I've ever seen um, that was very much, how do I describe this? Content that if you spoke about it online would be reaction content, but also you can't show any of it. French film. It was inspired by French extremity movies. That is absolutely correct. Uh, it was an 18 plus film. Also, hi, Risa. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in. Hello, everybody. My name is Rococo Proofe, the best clown for the worst parties. Today, we're going to be playing a horror, scary alien game called Voices of the Void. Whoops, Daisy. Which I've never played before, and I have a side at all. 
How was Stream Arisa? How was Patch Quest? What kind of game is that? I haven't heard of it before. Um, we were just talking about um, a film I saw yesterday called The Substance. It's a body horror film, so if it's not your cup of tea, if you hear that word body horror and you're like, don't look into it. Don't look into it. <laughs> But I've never seen... The last horror film I saw in cinemas was It Chapter 2. Uh, but I feel like the It films are kind of like... Mm, goosebumps kind of horror. Do you know what I mean? Where they're more like fun horror rather than like... Horrible, intense sense of dread horror. Uh, whereas there were moments in The Substance, uh, which is the film I saw, where I was... I, was, I saw it with Ezra. And we were grabbing onto each other, covering our eyes, like, ah! <laughs> the, the, oh, you had a phone stream? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the whole film of The Substance was us going, it can't get worse, can it? It gets worse. It gets worse. But I am serious, if you guys can handle horror, and it's showing in the cinema near you, I really recommend seeing it. You will not be, go see it with a friend or like your partner or someone, please see it with someone. Don't see it alone. <laughs> Don't see it alone. You need someone to like grab their hand and like just crunkle into each other because it's so hard to watch at points, but like fun, fun hard to watch. Mm -hmm. Goosebumps on the channel, YouTube marathoning with the cheesy shows. I never got to watch Goosebumps growing up. I read it a lot. Uh, I'd always read Goosebumps books at, do you guys remember book phase, fates? Fates? Not the right word. Fairs. Sorry. You guys remember book fairs? Uh, they were a big thing in the UK. Where like, once a term, Scholastics, or whatever the name of the fucking company was, would come by uh, with a bunch of stands and a bunch of books. And you could read some of the books and you'd get a bunch of books for cheap. Scholastic book fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I remember that was how I got to read a whole bunch of the Captain Underpants books. Um, because I, I loved comics growing up and I still do. Calvin and Hobbes and The Far Side are my favorite comics ever. Uh, but I loved reading books that were also comics. So Captain Underpants was one of my favorites. Um, another book that I wanted to read a lot growing up but I never got the chance to was, Unfo uh, oh, what the heck was it called? Unfortunate Tales? No. The one about, with Count Olaf in it. Oh, what the heck was it called? The Unfortunate Tales? No. For some reason my brain's going Grizzly Tales with Gruesome Kids. A series of unfortunate events. There we go, that's it, yeah. Uh, uh, Grizzly Tales with Gruesome Kids was a TV show in the UK, but that is not what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, A Series of Unfortunate Events was a book I remember really wanting to read growing up. Um, but I just never can get access to the copies of the books and, you know, growing up single parent, all that had a blue. We couldn't really afford books aside from the ones that my mum already had. Uh, so one of my childhood books was, uh, Hannibal. And I think back on that often, especially about, uh, now I'm older and I understand Hannibal a lot more. I'm a bit like, white, huh? Huh? That explains a lot? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, but Hannibal was one of those books that like, I got a lot more enjoyment out of as I got older. Um, but it did contribute to a lot of stuff, questionable tastes in ships that I had when I was younger and older and everything. Like I shipped pretty, pretty much the worst pairing when it comes to fruits basket ever because of that, I'm pretty sure. Um, people don't know Hannibal the book, spoilers for a book that's like 20, 20 years old. Hannibal the book ends up shipping Clarice and Hannibal. <laughs> Did you ship them? <laughs> Maybe. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> In my defense, I didn't know any better. <laughs> in my defense, I did not know any better, okay? I was like, hi, button, that's how you're doing. Welcome in, welcome in. I didn't know any better because I hadn't seen the previous books, okay? 
I'd not read the previous books and the Hannibal book pretty much ships them in a very intense way. Clarice and Hannibal. The film does not do that. The film is probably the correct ending. The film is like, no, this shit's fucks yo and then doesn't shit them at all, which is how it probably should be. <laughs> that as a kid, I only had the book. <laughs> I didn't have the original um, Silence of the Lambs or whatever it was. Yeah, Bruce Basket is trashy to real, real romance. They like, grapple her back. Bruh. Backy is something I do want to watch. Mostly because I am so fascinated by like how every single person in Backy looks. Like. Does the film justify, or the, the anime justify, why they all look like that? Like, does it justify it? I just want to know. I just want to know. Like, Baki, the, the way people look in that is like crazy, man. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah. Love between man and violence? Yeah, I thought that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, some people are asking what shipped ship I liked growing up from Fruits Basket. I don't remember the name of the Holden Fruits. It was Toru... Toru X... Is this it? Is this it? It is! Uh, growing up uh, with Fruits Basket, someone asked earlier who I shipped. Growing up I shipped Akito with Toru. <laughs> Which for people who don't know is pretty much the worst. <laughs> it's pretty much the worst ship ever. It's like the most abusive ship on the planet. But to be fair, that probably explains a lot about myself growing up, honestly. <laughs> I was a very troubled child. I was a very troubled child and sometimes it's okay to, to express that trouble through fictional characters in uh anime you know what i mean mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sometimes it's okay to have stupid ships as long as you're not hurting the body <laughs> titanic x x iceberg yeah you know what titanic x iceberg is probably a worse ship <laughs> potentially maybe love all sonic makes sense now yeah exactly my toxic sonic ship of sonic x shadow makes total sense now <laughs> Anyway, we should probably play Voice of the Void pretty soon because we're gonna run out of time today. I don't know how long I'll go because uh, Boss boss Clown just notified me today that I have to be in the circus tomorrow, which I was not expecting. Isn't that just like such a fun surprise that you have to get up two hours earlier to get into the circus rather than working from home? Isn't that great? Uh, so we're gonna play Voice of the Void today. Uh, it is a alien horror game. I don't really know anything about it aside from what Mr. Joel Vinesauce has posted about it. And he hasn't posted a lot. He's posted a long video about it, but I've not watched the whole thing. Uh, shit, what buttons am I pressing? All I know is that a couple of meme friends appear in it, like, uh, next will. <laughs> Next will the cat. Um, so all together we're gonna play it. And also, before you guys try to jump scare me, I know there is a spook in the tutorial. If you try to jump on a platform, you will not convince me to do it. Unless you give me five gifted subs. <laughs> anyway. It's a horror game. A free-to-play alien horror game. And I've been very excited to play it for a while. You basically get uh, reputation points and romance with cat girl aliens. And do you guys want to know how you raise the cat girl alien stats? Are you ready? Are you ready? You raise the cat girl alien stats by leaving them shrimp. You leave shrimp outside your house and the cat girl aliens will increase reputation as a result. So be sure to leave shrimp for them. Yeah, exactly. Like what Yomi's doing. 
Leave shrimp for the cat girl aliens. Mm. I don't know how scary this game will be. Pingu warned me it's a good atmospheric horror. I'm excited to try it. Uh, but we're going to do a tutorial because Pingu also warned me that this game is very confusing. <laughs> and if you don't do this tutorial, you'll have no idea what's going on. So we're going to do that. Hold on, I think I just turned... Oh, whoa, hold on. I fear this game might have absolutely bonkers yonkers head bob and I might need to turn that off. Hold on. Head bob is very hidden. Yomi. 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 <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm gonna... I'll go grab the mayonnaise. Did I not save? Wait, hold on. Where is it? Bear with me a sec. Hold on. I'll be I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab the mayonnaise for my girl Yomi. One moment. Oh my god, why was there no transition? What has happened to him? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? Why the fuck is he still here? Why are you guys surprised? <laughs> Did she know? <laughs> Thank you for the five kids and subs. I really appreciate it. And Yomi, thanks so much for the mayonnaise redeem. I really appreciate your support and your friendship and being here. As a person in the community, thank you again, Tearsheet. Because you've done that, we now have to try find a jump scare in the tutorial. I have no idea where it is, but I'm sure we can find it. It's a platform, I think, that we have to jump onto, to my understanding. <sighs> All right. Down the hatch. <coughs> Thank you so much for your friendship and your support, Yomi. Go fuck yourself. I remember someone asked, they're like, Roko, are you faking it? Faking this? <laughs> I feel like if I could fake mayonnaise like this, I should be nominated for like an Oscar. <laughs> Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, I think I should be nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> You're very good at making it sound deeply unpleasant as possible. Very good faking. <laughs> Local faker, faker, Rococo proof -a. Yeah, so you get a plus five reputation with the clown aliens now for this. Good job. Ooh, wait, hold on. This kind of, <clears throat> this is kind of fucked up, right? What is this that I hate? Reduce the head bob strength and the head bob tilt. I feel like I hate something about this, but I'm not sure what it is. Is there... Motion blur? No, it's off. What is it then? Hmm. Head bob on max? No, I'll throw up. Welcome to the Voice of the Void. In this tutorial, you will learn basic knowledge about the game and its mechanics, divided into three stages, controls, interactions, gameplay loop. Walk through floating icons for instructions. Onky donkey. Basic controls. WASD, jump. Shift to sprint, control is crouch. LB while holding object is toss, RB is rot rotate. We're doing the jump scare? We are, but I don't know where it is. Is that... Is that where it is? Up there? 
F is flashlight. X is zoom. Oh, okay. Mouse will select action. Wait, is that meant to be the G more dead texture? Is this meant to be here? Is this a bug or a feature? I mean, there's the inventory. Okay. Game feels weird to play. Alt E is quick use action. Oh. <laughs> Hi, random YouTuber fan. How you doing? Welcome in. RB minus? Yeah. Eh. Hold. This is hard. <laughs> Should you make a cheat sheet? I feel like I should, right? How do I drink this beer? Alt E. I, it, it seems like it doesn't want me to speed use it. What are these? Is that Chinese food? Use. Oh! I just had a little snack! Uh... Oh shit! <laughs> Three. I will collect all the beer. So yeah, if I eat these, it plays- it says I'm not hungry. This is on Unreal, but the dev made it feel like Source Engine. That's cool. Classic gamer crouch jump. Performance move you to jump and crouch in mid-air. With this move, you can jump on top of bigger obstacles. Ah! <laughs> How do I get up? <laughs> How do I even do that? No, give up, you stupid asshole! Get used to that? I don't even know how I did that. Burger. I'm gonna get puffy cheeks a lot. How do I get up here? People, I, I said I would do the jump scare and to my understanding the jump scare is up here but I don't know how. Fuck. Oh, with my, with my tongue out like that, I should say fuck. I don't think I'm good enough at the game to get up there. The railing is new? Really? They really don't want me to give... You can move the table? Yeah, really? Oh! Object is too heavy. All the food. Too heavy. Oh. 
Okay. Amazing. We're gonna still be here for the next two hours. <laughs> Leave the tongue emojis out of this, okay? Why can't I move it? The board redeem by G-Man? Of course! Of course he'd do that! Ah! Why is your tongue like that? Because control C is my tongue button! I don't normally... Source engine girlies. This is infuriating. Controls crouch. Control C. Yeah, control C is my tongue button. Jump and press crouch me there. I'm doing that, bros. Mash space. Wrong button. How's it? Eh? Did I press the wrong button? Did I just pick it up rather than use it? Read it. Behind you. There's nothing there, stupid idiot. Fine. Did I break the jump scare? <laughs> Do the voices? I don't see anything though. I break it. How do I drop an item? I broke the game. Local clown breaks game. Are we really surprised about this? I read the. Yeah, I did. I said, look behind me. So I did. I read it. And nothing happened. 
I guess I broke the jump scare. <laughs> it's not letting me drop the item though, so I feel like the joke's on me because I'm not going to be able to drop the jump scare button. I I fear I may have control R. I don't know why I took my hands out like that. <laughs> I broke it, I guess. In my defense, I did everything I could to have that jump scare happen. I did, ouch, everything I could. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Uh. Uh. I like him. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a lot of buttons in this game, huh? They're not super... Uh, what's the word? Use alt hotkey. Hi! Put stores the item in your inventory. Drop drops it. Info gives information about the item. Hold equips it. Oi! Yeah, I guess the I guess the jump scare was like, nah, nah, I'm good. Use mouse wheel to use action and use the item. What's the battery in your flashlight? Oh. Use the item on an object. Do that. What I have to target the object and press the left mouse button. Cannot drink gasoline. Thank goodness it's specified. Well, there's no one here I can use gasoline on, so... It's a drive box used to sell drives and collect points. Open the lid, place one of the drives inside, close the lid, place the box in the zone and call the drone. Uh... I was holding it. Why can't I drop it? Oko lighting people on fire? God, I wish. How do I unhold something? Let me drink the gasoline, man! Come on! I don't think I'm holding it anymore. Why Why can't I drop it? Oh. Okay. I found the full on floor button. Good. I found it twice. Oh, so C, C is the button. Okay. C is the full on floor button. It's an item box. Sell unwanted items. Store items inside the box. Call the delivery and call the drone. Drone control panel. Use this control panel to call the drone. It will arrive shortly and pick up the drive box. I guess coming in a tutorial I can't do it. Destroy the crates. I'll do it in a sec. Password. It's locked behind the password. Open it with that. This is going to require too much of my brain. The dref the death drop button. Yeah, hold on. What's something that RuPaul would say? <laughs> I've not watched him in a while. Hey, 
everybody do the flop? <laughs> Chasse. Was it Chasse Slay Away or whatever the fuck it is? I used to watch RuPaul's Drag Race a lot. Most normal... I feel like... Most normal interact... Okay. I Stop pressing the C button, Roko! I'm already lost. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Chasse, chasse away. Ah! Oh! <gasps> Half-life! Half life. Half life. Correct, but I'll, I'll take it. Hey, yeah. Choose. Hmm. Green's always a good color. Hoi. <gasps> this is like the right option. We've got like a little nice shrimp. Uh... Sprongy, sprongy toy. It's good. Wait, I want to take the shrimp with me. Look at his little face. Not enough space? Are you serious? Really? I'm holding like nothing, man. Wait, where am I? Wrong button. This is your computer table. It's four main terminals you will use to gather, download, process, and listen to signals. Try to get a signal by following the directions given by the hint nodes. They are marked sequentially step by step. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, hold on. Stop. Hello. How you doing? To download the lock signal, adjust the polarity and frequency values by toggling the filters, the two glowing buttons. Rotate the polarity filter by holding E on the center dials and using the mouse wheel. Adjust the polarity mode using the knob to the left. Off the toggles if the signal cannot be located. The frequency filter is not affected by the polarity mold. Wait for the signal to be downloaded, detected to process. Press the save button. That's step two. Four. Oh! Oh! In my defense, why was that first over there? Let me see you can zoom the cursor. Shift runs a scan, gives directions to various signals detected. Press enter on a fancy of the ping. Okay.
theft. Oh! There you are. Satellites are active. Okay, you got a ping. Until the top the top screens show output date. Oh, that's a planet. I'm computing. I think that's good, right? Save that. Is that is that not good? You scroll on the knob things. Eh. Is that not? Oh, I guess it's not downloading it, is it? Eh. Why it no download? What am I doing wrong? The bottom one is only 6%. Hold use. I don't get it. <laughs> Back seating encouraged. <laughs> I'm trying to scroll it, but... It feels like nothing's happening. Oh, here we go. I feel like I'm not really changing anything in a meaningful way, though. percent value changes when you scroll is that a bad thing you have to find a sweet spot and change your offset speed to zero eh. how do i eh. I'm 
I'm sure once this will be on the test. I'm already in the test. Okay, we're at efficiency 0, 0.0. I'm not sure this is the right game for Spoopy Month. I've heard it's a good Spoopy game. Thank you for the bad joke. Uh, not the bad joke. We've Grandma Medine. Thank you. I've heard once you figure out how the gameplay works, it's a good spoop. But... <laughs> the main issue is trying to figure out the gameplay spoop. Do you know what I mean? You better go too far, it's at max now. What what part is at max? Yeah. Most watchable Roco stream, by the way. Ugh. Filter offsetters at max. The what? I drink. I drink. I need a drink. I wish I just understood what I was editing here. Do you know what I mean? Polarity, frequency. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Oh, okay, so maybe if I... Okay. Okay. You write out free space colonies? Yeah, true. Like that, maybe? Hmm... I understand what I need to do... Well, I understand what I'm changing. But... I don't understand what I need to change. Does that make sense? Because changing this filter changes the polarity. But then what the fuck does that mean? Do you know what I mean? If I stop that there... Oh wait, hold on. That's downloading something. Look! Something's downloading. We're on dial up basically. If I do that, it's not working. So if I do like this. Maybe if I do like even more like that.
Like that? Is it like every time the signal like matches the other signal maybe? Is that what I'm trying to match? Output data has to be to 100% as close as you can get. Shit. How do I match it? I don't get it. Now you change frequency filter. Which one's the frequency? I thought I was changing. The thing is, I don't know what I need to match it to. Like, the output data isn't even going up. First row, current value, you need to find the one that makes the next, last row one. Huh? Offset speed. <sighs> Last row efficiency. You want 100% here. The signal has a value for the top screen, a separate value for the bottom screen. You're trying to figure out what those values are by checking everything. Top row is polarity, which is find the right spot on the circle. Bottom row is frequency. Find the right spot going left to right on the line. Okay, thank you. That's helpful. Okay, that's something. This is not a beginner friendly Roco stream. <laughs> Hi TDX, how you doing? Welcome in. Are you there? How are the voices bad? The voices are in my head and they are loud and they are bad. I thought this game would be easy. I need literally, I am not saying this because I'm stupid. I need an explain like I'm five description for this game. Save signals are listed here. Use the other button on the right to listen to a signal and adjust volume. The purple button saves the signal to your computer. Scroll through the visual. The second number on your bottom screen is 300. That means you're moving across the line at the speed of 300, which is good to get a general idea of the zone you want to check, but not good for fine tuning. Eh. Eh. I thought that was the signal! What the fuck? I love this song!
Put a drive in there? And then... I am so good at this. I love this song! I didn't think this first stream would just be the tutorial, but here we are. Step f yeah, step four. Plug the drive in with the signal data. Press import export. Okay. Is that in? Okay. I think we're decoding it. No, that can't be it. What did I do wrong? There's a slot right of the yellow button. Oh! <laughs> there we go. There we go. I say that, nothing is happening. Okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. Yellow, then green, okay. Okay, there we go, okay. How the fuck do people play this game without having a panic attack? I'm serious. Least watchable Roco stream. Do you have any cute humor? At the moment, no. I'm trying to be a scientist right now. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm fine for my goddamn life. Your your kitten boot my nose. Please share a kit. I can't remember if you're into this cold resin, but if you are, please share a photo of the kitten. I would love to see it. Is tutorial scaring you, chicken? I'm not scared, I'm just confused. That's all done. Grading a computer level will allow you to process signals to a higher level. That's four. Is there a five? No? Are we done? Oh yeah, no, don't worry, Elliot. I, I turn on funny mode. No fear, no fear. Funny mode is on. It's very good. Do I go behind? Does this place look familiar to you? Huh? Pool rooms, maybe. I've not played it though. Solve the math mini game. Oh no, no. To fix a broken server. If the answer is more than 10, simply remove the tens column. Thankfully, no one is here to chase you with an axe if you get it wrong. Eh? Also, thank you very much. Welcome in, Clem. Okay, uh, how are you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Servers will break down over time, requiring maintenance. Servers are base servers. They will require signals of processing speed. Satellite servers are affected signal download speed. Fixing a server will require solving multiple simple math problems. I'm bad at math. Also, hi Kay, welcome in. Eh? 
Uh, five. Eighteen. Uh, nine plus nine is eighteen. Uh, eight. Uh, minus two. So what is two? Uh, one. Four. Zero. Wait. No, I got it wrong. <laughs> I told you guys I'm bad at math. No! Uh, 9 plus 1, 0. Uh, 9. Minus 4. Uh, 7. Hold. Who's that? Hello, Sawyerl. How are you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. So two. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. <gasps> yeah! I am so smart. This part is why I won't play this game. Not gonna lie, I feel that. In my bones. I am so bad at math. I stopped studying math when I was in s shit. I didn't go to shit. I'm just very stupid. <laughs> four plus five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, who has to still add up math on their fingers? Because if you say no, you're lying. I refuse to believe that people can still do math without using their fingers. Seven, eight minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine minus one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll be three. Yeah. Also, hi, Demon Lone Wolf. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. I am so fucking smart. It scares me. Using the console, you can perform different commands like pinging in 10A servers and checking satellite calibration, compass targeting. Find those commands in the right console screen. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Great. Check transformer status. They are all active. Time is zero zero zero. Okay. I mean, nothing here looks bad so far. Keep going. Transformers keep the base powered and will need to be monitored. When one of the transformers reaches zero, the power will be cut off the base and the transformer will require maintenance. To fix the transformer, simply press the big red button. Transformers can be reset even when active. What big red button? That one? Okay. It has to be that way. Okay. Congratulations! You have completed the Voice of the Voiders tutorial and you are ready to begin your assignment. Remember, there are many more gameplay elements to discover. Far too many to cover in a single tutorial. Have fun! Jump into the hole to complete the tutorial. Wait! Oh. Those bones. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Right, let's start the game. Story. Great new. Gotta be bones.
Roco stream. Rock stream. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, thank God that was just a tutorial. It took us like an hour, but we got there and it. What now? This isn't going to be the actual first tutorial in the game, is it? Also, hi Shinkatsumaru! Thank you very much for 29 months! I really appreciate it. Hello? Turn around. Oh, oh, oh my god, my tongue. Put that shit away. This. I need to adjust my, uh. My shortcuts. Why the clown blur? Clown bad at buttons. Ah. Hit, 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 door, bleh. Hold on. Why is the work group chat popping off? My circus has a group chat people don't normally message. But for some reason it is absolutely exploding right now. One moment. What is happening at the circus right now? What's going on? Yeah. What? Oh, apparently there's a meeting happening right now. Oh no, wait, wait. <laughs> oh no, it's my circus having a meeting right now and I'm missing it. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'll just say tomorrow that no one. No, it's okay. No one messaged me about the meeting taking place at fucking 9 pm at night. It's fine. Don't worry. No one messaged me. So basically, some of my clownies are at New York Circus Week at the moment. But, uh, I'm not... Eh? I'm not organizing that, so I had no idea it was even happening. Uh, until my phone started blowing up and messages about people meeting didn't get the memo i didn't organize it so okay eh? base base eh? Eh? Away from the mark trail, did I? It was. What's this? Not what I'm looking for.
Okay, so base this way. Where's his base that way? You cannot blame me for getting confused, okay? You cannot blame me for getting confused. What's the building with a tall radio tower next to it? Okay, I'll go have a look in a sec. Thank you very much for the bad joke redeem, though. Who who did that? Who who did that? Involuntary Pro. Thank you, thank you. Let me find my slide whistle real quick. Hmm. Mm. Uh. I'm trying to think if I know any alien bad jokes. Oh my god, my model is like fully lagging. I'll let my model fucking fix itself firstly. Model? You you okay? Okay, there we go, there we go. What do aliens normally like to eat? Unidentified frying objects? <laughs> what do you mean, eh? I thought the pun's pretty obvious, no? Is that from the Sonic book? No, it's from my own brain. You know, I'm so good at telling... Why is my fucking eyes not... There we go. I'm so good at telling jokes, right? X-ray. Thank you, Kafka, for the bad joke with you. I'll do it in just a sec. One moment. Over there, maybe? Ow! Both of you, thank you. I'll do the bad jokes in a moment. I need to find where my house is first. Whiskey? I do like whiskey. But is that what I'm looking for? I'm not sure. Am I looking for whiskey? I'm normally more of a vodka drinker myself. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. I'm tired. I think it's my body is just trying to get ready because tomorrow I'm going to be in the circus. I've not been in the circus for a little while. I think my body emotionally is just getting ready to do that. What's this? Is this my house? Is this it? Have we found it? This looks like my house! That's the base. Is that not what I'm looking for? 11111 is the password. Yeah. Yeah, baby, now we're cooking with gas. That's what we like to see. Oh, fuck off.
What the fuck? What the fuck? Why are none of the lights working? The house of Tip Roko? I'm feeling very judged right now. <gasps> I'm feeling very judged right now. Naze deska? Atakshi deska? Ah! Perfect! Lovely! Why? Why do I have to do housework in my Bibio game? Not enough space! Oh, hold on. Can I put this down? I can see I'm holding it. Hold on, let me drop it. I listen. What? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, man? You have to run the whole way again? I fucking hope not. I don't understand what happened. Are there, is there anyone here who's played this game before who knows what happened? Is that a bug or is that a feature? Also, two bad jokes from earlier. How do aliens pay for coffee? They use Starbucks. <coughs> and uh, why did the alien go off his ship? He needed a bit of space. You clipped into a suitcase and died? I can believe it. I can believe that. Ow. I think the popcorn from yesterday is still somehow stuck on my teeth. I don't have ah! the points, so this is me booing you. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't boo me and send me points. Oh no, no. God forbid! Oh no! Uh, okay, you did break my mold, though, to be fair, so... You can take that dub. You, you can take a dub of the, the fact you broke my model. Clown Bork. You did. You Bork the Clown. It's okay. Alright, let's see. Where did this... Where will this load from? Easy, shut oh, up. <laughs> From here, Magikayo. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, it's time we know which way to go. Follow the road straight. The only thing, only time I'll ever be that. <laughs> Thanks to the Bull Cook Redeem Bandit. Thanks. Time for the straightest experience I'll. Ah! Wrong button.
Naruto run through Area 51. Follow your dreams. That's that's all this game is. Follow your dreams of being Naruto running through Area 51. It just says five. You guys can't see it. Underneath Virgil right now, it just says five. I have no idea why it just says five. There's no number, no number beyond that. There's no words, just five. Is it a countdown? Is it a warning? We have no idea. I always had a feeling today's stream anyway would be more of a, what's the word? Figuring out lore and how the game works kind of stream. And then like the one on, Wednesday will be more of an actually playing the game stream. From what I've heard about playing this game, because even Pingu, Pingu was messaging me before I start before I started streaming, like, hey Roko, uh, this game, do the tutorial and even after the after the tutorial even after the tutorial, uh, you're gonna be overwhelmed and confused about how this game works. <laughs> And I was like, I bet, okay, sure, Pingu, whatever you say. He was right. For once in his goddamn life, Pingu was right. Do not ever tell him I said that because he would let his ego get to his head. What's that? <gasps> Conky Cola is for me. Never tell him that. Yeah, don't. Don't do it. Uh, what would it be? Uh, close doors behind you. Because this is essentially a horror game and I am not strong enough. Bellies, Nelly. <laughs> Why? Why are the mannequins everywhere? Ghost car. Ghost car. Ghost. Oh my god, it's Brum! That's a Brum. The car of all time. Oh. oh my god, Brum mentioned. One for my Brum fans in chat. Right, here we go. I'm gonna throw out my luggage and if it kills me, uh, it's bugged. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Collect. No no space. Yeah. What am I doing wrong? Use. Ah, MRE, battery. Hell Joy plush. Okay. The Kel Joy plush. Eh. Alright. What are you doing? I have no idea. <laughs> Do I need to search for a signal? Am I being told the to signal search right now?
You should turn on the computer. Is it not on already? Oh, this. Eh. 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 It's an abandoned science facility, hundreds of miles from local amenities, hasn't yeah. been occupied in over 30 years. Most hmm. of the electricals aren't working and it's full of rubbish. Yeah. Bidding starts at 1.8 million. <laughs> You're right, the economy, the housing economy is in shambles. So let's say I can order stuff here. There's a lot. Favorites. Miscellaneous. Cuba mask, bike thing, plunger. Those are decoration. Machines. Plasma TV. Perfer. Per Perfer? Perfer. Arcade machine. Remote drone. Roomba. Woodchipper. Crowbar map. Rock. Rock. <laughs> Can opener, kitchen knife, wall builder, cell gun, portable pressure washer. Meow. You play videos and TVs in a folder? Which folder do I had to put them in? Wait, am I meant to go to bed or am I. Eh? Did I go to bed or am I meant to do a fucking signal search right now? It looks like there's no signals anyway. But even if I want to read the email, oh. Hi. Hello, I'm Dr. Bao. I will be responsible for your daily tasks. In short, I will ask you to do quick tasks at the start of every day. First, I will request a specific amount of drives. These can range from level zero drives to level three. I understand your quote-unquote situation, however, they will not request a drive you can't obtain. The second task I will ask of you is a simple satellite checkup. Go to satellite, type in sv.hash into the server, write down the server and number in a note. For example, bravo bleh. Once you have done that, attach it to the lid of a drive box and send it off with the drone. I left a little notebook on the table that you tear some pages out of the notes. Thanks, Dr. Bao. Thanks. Welcome to your new job, Dr. Kell. My name is Dr. Lee. It was Lee, your main supervisor. Vault Link, help me. Vault Link. Vault Link, help me. Help me, I'm having to read words right now and I am in hell. Welcome in, hello, thank you very much for the raid. Hello everyone, my name is Rokoko Proofy, the best clown of the worst party. Today we are playing uh, Signal Simulator, no, vo Voices of the Void. <laughs> We're gonna be finishing up pretty soon, uh, but I really appreciate the raid, welcome in. Thank you very much again, friend, and I hope you had a fun time also playing Voices of the Void. Welcome, welcome, and I have a side whistle. <laughs> yeah, I'm bored and afraid right now. I spent two hours in the tutorial. But from what I've heard from people, two, hour, two hours on the tutorial is fairly standard. I am learning. I am learning. I tried to trigger a, ju a, a jump scare, but I, apparently I broke it. So it, it, it didn't work. Take from that what you will. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for the raid. I really appreciate that link. Thank you. Uh, welcome to your new job, Dr. Kelly. My name is Lee, your main supervisor. You probably got through to the learning period, but I'll remind you what your job is what to do. In short, your job is basically scanning the sky for anomalous signals. That is your main task. Another task is to process the data of these signals and send us the data stored in analog drives. 
you will get a reward for each drive and if you process the signal on further levels you will get more points next signal is to look after these big satellite dishes its servers and its calibration you can recalibrate satellites remotely through the console panel but if the satellite server shuts down you will have to manually fix it the server is inside the satellites. All right, I think that's it. Your nuclear reactor is not implemented yet. So you don't have to worry about that. Gather the signals and process them. Sell results to us. Great. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There's an ARG in the tutorial? I'm not surprised, but also, what the fuck? Okay. This 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 whole thing is kind of reading like go EP sleepy and to be honest Oh my god Now I've done the server and like all the basic game stuff I think now's a good time to finish up anyway So we'll probably call it pretty soon. I'm, I need to find out where the fuck the bed is <laughs> Where the hell is the EP sleepy zone? <laughs> Downstairs, perhaps? This is horrifying. What the fuck? What is down here? Eh? Nani? Oh my god. Okay, not for now. For later ignore the meat room yes no don't worry I will I will ignore the meat room for now where's my EP sleepy zone what the fuck Eh. Is this my bed? Okay. Big base you clean up and make it look nice and functional. I wouldn't mind having a base I could clean up and look nice and functional. The only problem I have with it, with that, is the fact that I have a problem with it in that... <gasps> Hello? The main problem I have with that is the fact that I feel like I have no time to do that. All my time for the smug. <laughs> all my time for the start of this game is going to be spent trying to fucking fix all this shit. There's a random drive here. Oh my god. Right. Tell you what. We'll call it there for now because it's been a long day for me. Uh, I have work in the circus tomorrow very early in the morning. But I will be free... I'll be free earlier on Wednesday so we can actually get our teeth properly stuck into this game. Now we're not actually just, whoops, Daisy. Now we're not just doing the tutorial. But, hold on, let's see them. Thank you very much for hanging out with me, guys. I'm sorry it's been slightly earlier finishing stream than usual. Uh, I have been very tired. It's been a very long day. As I said earlier, uh... I'm not going to get into it, but there's been a lot of life stuff that's happened today uh, that's been tricky. Let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, so my next stream on Wednesday, hopefully I'll be more better adapted. I will be in the circus on Wednesday. Uh, so if stream does start a tiny bit later, that's why. But I'm hoping because I'm not going to be in the circus on Thursday, we can go for a little bit longer. But I will let you guys know. Uh, but in the meantime, they go find something for us to go raid. 
Do you hear the voices? No voices yet, but I'm sure next time I will certainly hear them. And I do want to get my teeth properly stuck into this game because I have seen bits and bobs of Joel playing it and I want to understand more. I do really want to understand more. But anyway, we're going to go raid my good pal Jummy, who is a fellow clown jester slash VTuber. Extremely funny. And if you guys aren't following Jummy already, and if you're following me, you're doing something wrong here. That's all I'm going to fucking say, man. You're, you guys are doing something wrong here. So please go follow Jummy. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. And we'll be doing more Voices of the Void on uh, Wednesday. Uh, so I'm hoping on Wednesday we'll be a little bit more into the game. A little less, you know, figuring out how it all works and all that jazz. But thank you very much for hanging out with me. And I look forward to seeing you all then. Here you go. Here's the amazing art. It's uh, myself as a as as a little scrimble. <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye. 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 <laughs>